Amen. 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 We were listening to uh, some scriptures and stuff today, and they said if you want to know about the man, ask his woman. Amen. Amen. Right. Yeah, that's, that's a word by so. Amen. Heavenly Father, right now, Lord, everybody, under the sound of my voice. Yes, Lord. Lord. They hear the vibrations from the microphone to their eardrums, Lord, let it hit their spirit, Lord. You are here for us, Lord. You gave your life. You gave your most precious possession with Thank your son. You. For your next such impressive possession, which is us, Lord. Lord, you made us one body, one mind, one accord, Lord. As I speak these words, Lord, you sent me here with good titles to preach these good titles. You anointed me. You appointed me. You called me in my, just like the young kid that was up here earlier today, Lord. You put it in my spirit early, Lord. As, as I speak, Lord, decrease me as Don Jr. CEO, increasing you, the Heavenly Father, the Father of Isaac, Abraham, God. Just, just, just the, the guy here, the, the, the sweet Holy Spirit. Amen. And, yes, Lord. And Jesus just sitting in the middle of us in damnation, Lord. Cover us right now, Lord. As we all dive into your word, Lord. Let this word of faith be for everyone that hears it, Lord. Let this word of faith be with them when they wake up in the morning. Let this word of faith be for them to live, no matter what goes on and how it happens, Lord. Let faith get them through everything, Lord. And please forgive us of our sins, Lord. We've sinned against you so many times, things that we know, things that we haven't heard, things that we don't even know that we've done yet, Lord. Forgive us right now, Lord. You've already sent the sacrificial lamb, but you said through obedience, through obedience is how we're going to actually go and get into heaven, Lord. So please forgive us for the things that we've done, the things that we don't know, and the things that we're going to do, Lord, until you come to return, be with us. We ask these blessings and favors in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 All right. God is good. We, we were going to the book of Romans, chapter 14. The book of Romans, chapter 14. And Amen. for your title, if you if you need to have a title, is your your faith is for you. That's that's the that's your that is, faith is for you. That, your faith is for you. Amen. Um, and Romans. you could please stand for the reading of the word. It's, it's the book of Romans, chapter 12. Amen. Amen. This 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 week has been trying for each and every last one of y'all. And you know, y'all looking. I thought I was coming into a testimony service, but it sounded like praise reports. And after each and every last testimony, everybody was on fire for God. And we still on fire right now because we're in the house of the Lord. As, as as we as we listen to this message, this message is not to condemn, degrade, hurt anybody. This message, I said 14, Book of Romans, chapter 14, the very first, I mean 14 and 1, that's where we're going to start, Book of Romans 14 and 1. This, this, is, this is God's message about faith, and um, as I was listening to the praise report after praise report after praise report, it just, God was just speaking to me, he said, everybody here is on one accord with faith, that's why the church is doing it. But now as, as, as the newcomers come in and as the things happen, we have to strengthen our faith. And the faith is a fight. Well, uh, are we all on the court? Are we all got amen. to worship? And I'm reading out of the New Living amen. Translation. And it reads, Accept him whose faith is weak without passing judgment on desperate, ma disputable matters. One man's faith allows him to eat anything, but another man's faith who is weak, he only eats vegetables. The man who eats everything must not look down on him who does not, and the man who does not eat everything must not condemn the man who does. For God accepted him. You can have a seat. God has been dealing with me so hard, and, and as, as, as I grow in the gospel, I didn't realize how much of a fight it was going to be. And what I mean by a fight, normally, everything was just so I mean, when, when, when you're not serving God, no matter where you go and what you do, everything is effortless because you have nothing to look forward to. So if you get a dollar, it, it's, it's, it's one thing if somebody give you a dollar. It's another thing if you work for that dollar. If you get up every day at 6 o'clock in the morning, you might feel like just nasty, but you got to get up and go to work. Amen. And you get to work, and then as you as you interact with the people that you deal with, for whatever somebody breath might stink, they may not feel good, but because you're there to get your dollar, you're going to do whatever you got to do. Amen. Well, well, God's been dealing with me about. I was tested very much this week, and 
so many times that I, I've been tested, I fell because my faith got weak. And the reason why right. my, my, let me take it back a little further. I mean, God worked with everybody. Faith is the substance of, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It's, everybody knows that, but actually living in that is a whole different situation. We all move off logic. When I say logic, if we cut the light switch on, we want it to turn on. If we sit down in the seat, we want the seat to hold us up. If we get sick, we go to the hospital, no matter what the situation is, uh -huh. we know we can call 911 and they're gonna come. Amen. I don't care where we are, what's going on, we can get to tripping with everybody. Amen. We, we, we call 911 and it happens. But what God's been dealing with me, he said, ye a little faith. And, and I'm listening to all these testimonies and they're not, they're not tests, they, they're praise reports. That's all I heard tonight was praise report. Right. Praise right. report after praise report after praise report. All right. So as God's dealing with me, and, and he said, the stronger your faith gets, the bigger the test is going to be. So I'm going to have to get you to get even stronger faith. Amen. So the, the message, and we're going to take it back to the word. The message is, it says, accept him whose faith is weak. Meaning, each and every last one of us is going to get upset with each and every last one of us. We're going to hurt each other every day. And sometimes we hurt each other by talking behind each other's back, and we don't even know that we're talking behind each other's back. Amen. We might get out of we might get out of this service right Woo. now. We get out of this service Amen. right now. Okay. Oh, man, did you see what Don Jr. CEO said? He didn't say it right. He should have went to number four when we got number five. Number five wasn't good enough. He should have went to number six. But at the end of the day, we have no right to judge. So Amen. let us not have Amen. no right to judge. I like that. Amen. We are a part of the body of Christ. You and know, as we God. grow up, and it teaches us in, the, in this good book, That's right. God is bigger than any problem. Jesus already died for our sins. Oh, so right. no, matter, no matter what sin we commit, we are not out of redemption because Jesus died. If we have faith that Jesus died, Amen. if we're the leadership, oh, everybody is a leader. When I say the leadership, I'm not just saying the leader of the church. I'm Amen. saying even down to the little kids. When they yes. open their candy, they're the leaders of that candy until they put it in their mouth. So, with a message of faith, and with God being who he is and omnipresent, when it says, accept them whose faith is weak, that's, that's to the people who get sick. And when I say sick, that that's, their lives are so convoluted with nonsense, mess, mess and nonsense and stuff that that's, that's just got them going every which way. And uh, as, as we are people here, we have to realize that faith is going to come like rain. No matter what happens, it's Hallelujah. going to happen. But we have to work at it every day. And the, the way you work at building your faith is interacting with other Christians. The way Amen. you work at building your faith is getting in your word. Amen. And then the way you work at building with your faith is, thank you, Lord, it's simple. Whenever you remember how bad you're doing, think about where you are. Well... Wherever you remember how bad you're doing, think about where you are. Because when you was at that point, and you're doing bad today, but there was some point in your life that you was doing worse. Amen. Right. Amen. As, right. as God touches your heart, Amen. as God touches your mind, as my words vibrate into your spirit, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, your faith is going to be with you when you die. And your faith is going to be the only thing to get you into heaven. Amen. This is, this is the reason why. If you do not have faith in Jesus Christ, he is the omnipresent intercessor, meaning he's praying for us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He's always, he's sitting beside me. He's standing up in his pool pit. He's sitting beside you. Everywhere we go, everything that we do, Amen. it all relies on faith. We have belief in ourselves and we can't condemn each other, but at the same time, we must not condemn each other. We have to realize we see fault, we need to educate. And what I mean by educating with Amen. love, and not only with love, educate with, with with your life experience. Sometimes your testimony is is for other people. There, there's people that's watching everything that you do. And then, and then, then to the people that don't know God, like I know God, I can't have, that's, that's the reason why this message is, your faith is your faith. I cannot have faith for your situation because I'm not in your body. Amen. You have to have your own faith. God has to put you through your own test because you have to take your own test. Amen. You get your own degree. Amen. Everybody in here can go to school for anything. When everybody goes to school for anybody, everybody's going to be individually rewarded. And that's what they teach us in the Bible. When we see God, we're going to see God by ourselves. Amen. So, All right. Taking it back to the word, and, and this is this is really this is really and this is beating me down. When I say beating me down, 
Let all me. week, I, I've been pointing the finger, you know. I, I have one of the best women in the world, and I, I don't realize how much I don't listen. And in the midst of, like, uh, oh. in the midst of me sometimes getting what I can do, where I go, how I do it, I don't listen. And, 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 and this message is all about faith. And I say I have faith in God. At the same time when we have a faith in God, I have to remember that God put all these tests, these trials and tribulations in my way, in my life to get out of myself so I can get closer back to him. So when the stress and the, the rest of the world comes on you like a, like a floodgate, what you have to do is you have to remember there's something that God is doing. Amen. And then if your closest homeboy, your closest your road dog, he fight with you, and then y'all cuss each other out, and a couple months later y'all back in... That was faith. Amen. And the whole thing, the whole thing that we here for, the reason why y'all come to church is for faith. Everything about the church revolves around faith. The cornerstone, the building Amen. block is Jesus. The Amen. reason why Jesus told Peter, I'm going to build my rock on you, everybody has to have faith. Amen. All right. Now, when, when, when we talk about the disputable matters, and, and this is the word, it says, and we, we still are number one, it says, Accept him whose faith is weak without passing judgment on disputable matters. No matter what goes on, we do not know it all. Now, Amen. I'm not going to lie, Amen. I, I've been getting beat down all week. I love my woman, and I just, I, I got to put it out there. Whenever I lose my mind, I tend to throw myself into my work instead of actually addressing the situation, listening, having the faith that God is going to see us through. And I, I noticed something, and it's, it's really true. Some days I put more faith in my work than I put in the Father, and then I get beat down later on the floor. And All right. it happens, it hurts, yeah, but it I, I've learned, and, 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 and this is this is Donnell Green Jr., I, I've learned that my family is going to turn their back on me. My brothers and the people that's in this Amen. building, when I say in this building, I'm talking about the body of Christ, they always show out and show up when I just, like, did not, didn't believe it, didn't think it was going to happen, and it's because of my faith, things happen. So my my message, my message, Donnell Green Jr., have faith, no matter how crazy Hallelujah. it looks, no matter how much Hallelujah. you're going through, have faith Thank within you. God, within Thank Jesus, you, and it, it's, faith is an action word, we, yeah. we, was, we, we was out so many times without food, water, shelter, uh, happiness uh, without time. A, a lot of us, we, we don't realize that time runs our lives. Every, there's a lot of people in their own schedules, and they have very airtight schedules. And when I say airtight schedule, hey, I'll, I'll call you back, brother. I'm, hey, I got 60 seconds to say what you got to say. If you can't get out of 60, I'll get back at you. Brother Tayshawn, I'm sorry. I'm, God is just... <laughs> Tayshawn called me 10 days ago. I still ain't calling him back. But Tayshawn asked me, and you know I'm going to call him. I can't, tell, I can't tell you when, but it's going to happen. So Amen. The, 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 the whole thing, and this, this isn't like, it isn't about how much we didn't do. It's about what we have to build off of. That's why Jesus said in the Bible, count up the cost. When you realize that your faith is going to be what's going to get you into heaven, now you got to call it, count up the cost because it's a fight. Faith is a fighting word. In order for you to keep your faith, if you tell somebody yes, they're going to show you 10 people that told them why they can't do it. So every time you come and say, Oh, I got something new from the church. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Whenever you hear that, that's when you need to remember your faith is for you. Okay, not a problem. I'll be right back. I'll show you how it works. You have to stick to what God tells you to do because just like we heard Amen. earlier, Amen. the devil is full of distraction. And distractions come in all shapes, forms, and Amen. sizes. Amen. All sin is equal. So with all sin being equal, with Jesus already paying the price for the sin, we in a we in a real jacked up situation because at any given day we we we're like walking on a tightrope. Either way we go, we either really good or really wrong. So with your faith, that's what's going to open up the the door for the Holy Spirit to give you that guidance to turn your tightrope into a wrong plank. You know what I'm saying? All right. No matter how many times, no matter how many times that you touch people, you talk to people. They're going to know who you are because of the faith you have. It's going to be written all over you. And Jesus said in this book right here, my sheep know my name. That's why that young, that's why that young right over there. 
Amen. God already knew who he was before he sent him here. Amen. He put us all on notice in his own special way. Right. And the message he put us all on notice at the same time, in the Bible they teach us, they said, in order to get into the kingdom of Christ, you have to be as a baby. Wow. Well, sometimes when we get so old, when I say old, I'm not saying in age. I'm saying so old, stuck in our ways. We only know what we know. We only do it our way, and this is the only way. And oh, I know well. the Lord has been dealing with me Amen. all week. That's the truth. And I can't tell you, sometimes faith is listening. And, and sometimes you have to have faith in a person that no matter what they say, you know what the real is, but people need to get it out. They, they need some people need a release. Amen. And not only is there a release right. with your faith, you by you listening to them and they know you want to say something and you say nothing, sometimes people can pick their own self by just listening to them. Amen. 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 So, Amen. Amen. God Amen. Is sitting here to, to preach the message of faith. And I got one more scripture, and that's it. And this is from God. It says, The man who eats anything must not look down on him who does not. And the man who does, who, and the, the man who eats everything must not look down on him who does not. And the man who does, does not eat everything, must not commend, condemn the man who does, for God has accepted him. And, and this is, this is, this is, this is the basis, like, like out of everything that I read in this chapter, this is the one that just, it just drove me crazy. It says, who are you to judge Someone else is serving. That's right. Right now, right now we all belong to Jesus. Amen. If you believe in God, if you don't believe in God, you still right. belong to Jesus. Because had Jesus not died for our sins, the Thank earth you, would Jesus. not be turning Thank all you, day, every day. Thank you, Jesus. The word that I have for Thank you, you is a five-letter word. It's called faith. Amen. It's, it's, it's so, so hard to run away from. You believe in whatever you believe in. However you believe is up to you. I'm telling you, standing up here as a living testimony, been through the fire, been through everything, and, and even man. going to jail. Like, I I, I mean, y'all hear everybody that been to jail, but my, my story is a little different. When I, when, when, I, um, when I was in jail, and I had to get myself separated from the world, meaning I, I, everybody that I thought was with me wasn't with me, and even when I thought that God was with me, I didn't even feel like he was there. But I kept hearing the brothers sing "Minister I Favorite Song," uh, uh, "Glory, Glory, Hallelujah." I mean, it was it was like right on time every eight, eight o'clock every night. They they have a church, and it was like fire shot up in my bones. And whenever you want to, if you're a part of a basketball Thank team you, and they had the championship game and you're the star player and you're not Thank in the you, game, Jesus. you having a problem inside Amen. of you. So. Bye. I like this well, well, like what's, what, what God did for, for me and what God changed in me was he changed my faith. And this, I haven't been in jail in a, in a long time. I mean, like, for a long stint, you know, and I'm not a jail going type dude, you know. But right. the, whole, the whole thing is, I thank God that I did go to jail because I had to renew my relationship with Christ. And at the end of it, it rebuilt my faith because my faith got me out of my situation. My faith got me to India. Now, my faith put me behind this pool bed. Amen. And my faith is my faith. At the same time, your faith is for you. Your faith starts whenever you walk towards anything. I mean, Amen. when I say anything, if somebody call you up and they say, I got uh, I got three bushels of greens. I just got them from the side of the road. They're only $2. I bought you some. Now, you're going to have faith in your friend because you know your friend very well. And if they brought them for me, they got to be good. So when you got that kind of faith, you got to have that kind of faith in Jesus. Amen. Whenever you have an issue, Amen. you got to call them up and say, you know what? I don't like the way this is going. Not only do I like the, not like the way that this is going, I believe that you didn't die for nothing. I know that you're going to get me through this. And then once you send that prayer up, you have to have the faith to know that it's going to happen. Amen. So the, the thing about faith being an action word is also a moving word, but it, it's it's the hardest word out of the uh, out of love, meekness, kindness, the fruits of the spirit. That faith is the hardest one because as soon as it looks like it don't work, it's easy just to quit. It, it's hard to stick in there, but it's easy to walk away. Uh, I don't like what y'all talking about. I'm gone, and that's that's the type of person I am. I'm a, I'm gonna keep it real. As I grow in my faith and I realize these trials and tribulations are going to come. Amen. 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 We want to make sure as, as a body of Christ that we help out each other. And then when we know people of strong, high faith, 
We don't want to beat them down or kick them while we down. We don't want to jump onto the, the bandwagon and try to overnight get all their faith. Amen. Because in order for you to get faith, you have to go through trials and tribulations. You Amen. have to build it. You have to read it. So we can't judge each other at the same time. We got to love each other. Love but each other. this is the, man, this is our year, this church, this ministry, everything Hallelujah. that is supposed to happen is happening. And now that it's happening, what we have to do, what we have to do, what right work at the same time, we have to realize not everybody's faith is the same. When someone, when one drops off, three more will come in and replace at the same time. Amen. When the new three come, we can't talk about yesterday. That's right. Leave it in the past. And Amen. With, the, with the faith, with the faith in Jesus Christ, he's going to guide each and every last one of us to where we need to go. Where we need all to go. We, all we live for is faith. We have faith in Jesus. And if Jesus is not the head of your life, it's not a problem because... With your faith and what you learning, because the words that were spoken today, something's gonna hit your spirit. Even if you even even if you don't understand what's happening to you right now, something is gonna prick you. Something after you leave the service is gonna change your life because you heard what thus said the Lord. My Lord. If anyone don't know Jesus, please come down right now. Um, you can be more than welcome. But I've I've known Jesus for a very long time, and at the same time of knowing Jesus, sometimes it's better to bring your problems to the altar as Amen. opposed to try to deal with them yourself. Because right. prayer has power, but prayer is an action thing, and you have to believe with yes. faith. And sometimes we can be in the middle of our situation not feeling good. It was times past the call me. I didn't even pick up the phone because I was just in my world. I said, no, I, no, no, no. She come with that Jesus right now. That ain't, Jesus is not for me right now. And with, with, with us all going through what we're going through, sometimes you got to step out of your comfort zone and come to Jesus. And amen, let Jesus go. Amen. You know what? I know you died for my sins. I believe that I will see you in heaven. I have a faith. Mm -hmm. If you need prayer, please come down. Amen. The doors of the church are open. Amen. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus just now, just now. Oh, come to Jesus, come to Jesus just now. Only trust. Yeah.